Okay, so on the board, you're going to see the reaction here for, for, num for number eight. Uh, I had to write it sideways basically in order to make it fit as words. So here we go. The first thing we have to do is we have to write out what it is. So chromium-3 and nitrate. So what does that mean? It means we have Cr and NO3. Now, chromium is 3, so it's plus 3. Nitrate always is minus 1. Therefore, there are 3 of them. Negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. Plus iron 2 sulfate. Iron is Fe. It's version plus 2 for the 2. Sulfate is SO4. It also carries a negative 2 charge. By the way, I can't forget, this is aqueous. This is also aqueous. Those are going to be important for us when we go to dissociate them in. Then, chromium-3 sulfate. So, we have CR. It's plus 3 version. Sulfate is SO4. It's still minus 2. Therefore, it would take 2 positive 3 chromiums and 3 negative 2 sulfates, and it's still aqueous. And iron 2 nitrate is Fe and NO3. This is plus 2 iron, this is negative 1 nitrate, so therefore we're going to need 2 nitrates. Now you can get rid of all your charges if you want to, I mean whatever, I'm not going to, just for time purposes on the film. So what ends up happening here is your aqueous, 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 and aqueous. So all four things break apart in one. I got to make sure it's balanced. It is not. So I see here that I need two chromiums. That gives me six NO3s. Well, then maybe I got to try to think about six NO3s over here, right? So what I do here is I end up putting, I think it's a three up. And then that gives me six nitrates, but also gives me three irons. That's okay, because if I get a three right there, I get three irons and three sulfates. Like I said, this is a pretty nasty problem. Now that we're balanced, we can look at it and say, all right, now let's break this apart. This will dissociate, what it is, because it's aqueous, into two Cr plus three ions. Two Cr3s, they're plus threes. It's still aqueous. And 2 times 3 is 6 NO3 negative, negative 1s. We have 6 of them. 2 times 3 is 6, NO3, and they're all negative 1s. So that's why you get that charge there. And here you have 3 Fe plus 2 ions and 3 SO4 negative 2 aqueous ions. Start writing a little tighter. Here, you end up with 2 Cr plus 3 aqueous ions and 3 SO4, still negative 2 aqueous ions. Here, we end up with 3 Fe plus 2 aqueous ions and 3 times 2. 6 NO3 minus 1 aqueous ions. Hopefully you can do that breakdown, guys. I mean, that's a big part of this. Now what we do is we start looking for spectators. So we say, okay, 2 Cr plus 3s, 2 Cr plus 3s. 6 NO3 minuses, 6 NO3 minuses. 3 Fe plus 2s, 3 Fe plus 2s, 3 SO4, 2 negatives, 3 SO4, 2 negatives. So you end up saying to yourself, oh my goodness, everything cancels. So what does that mean? It means they're all spectators. Now, what does that actually mean in my beaker? You know what it means? It means no reaction. Nothing occurs because they all just watch each other. <laughs>